everyone, so today I want to talk about bananas and pyjamas and this was requested by Adam and Thomas 1997 the link to such a YouTube channel will be in the below bar should you wish to go and check out their channel. Bananas and pyjamas I watched a lot as a child even though it's one of the weirdest things you know I've, I've watched like three or four episodes on YouTube um, last night when I was uh, going through it to make sure I remembered it how it was and I wasn't just remembering it in some weird way and to be honest, it's the most peculiar thing ever. The episodes themselves are only like five minutes long, but there are longer specials and longer episodes, which are also on YouTube. Um, I believe it came out in 1992, don't quote me, and it is an Australian program. For the purpose of this video, I am focusing on that, that era of bananas and pyjamas. It has been relaunched just a couple of years ago, but they're now CGI characters. And I'm like, that's not bananas and pyjamas, bananas and pyjamas, or or your puppet kind of characters, they're not animated, they're not CGI, they're not computer generated. That just doesn't work. Um, I did watch one of those episodes just to see if I could stomach it. I think for today's generation it'd work, but for, no, no. It, bananas and pyjamas has to be the original where guys are in costumes. And if you didn't know there were guys in the costumes, I'm really sorry for ruining that for you. In each one, you kind of think there's a moral to it, but, um, there is, but there isn't. I'll use two, two episodes specifically to illustrate why I mean that. Um, I watched about four episodes, but there's two. I can't remember the titles, but one is about garden gnomes and one is about wet paint. And the characters in this are three, three teddy bears and two bananas. And somebody um, left a comment under one of the videos I was watching saying, does anybody ever wonder why bananas are friends with teddy bears? And it made me think, you know, that is weird. Who sat down one day and thought, we need to make a kids programme. Let's put bananas in pyjamas and make them friends with teddy bears. It is very peculiar and I worry for that person's childhood, but it's very funny, which I think is part of the aspect of the entertainment, the, the comedic element of bananas running around in pyjamas. What on earth? It's, it's hilarious. Um, not hilarious to the point of being sectioned with um, insanity, but still funny. Um, okay, so these two episodes, the first, well, the second one we'll go with, wet paint. The bananas are painting a bench and they put up a sign saying wet paint and the teddy bears are going for a jog they are tired, they want to sit down, they see the wet paint sign they think, oh, maybe it's not wet, I'll touch it now obviously you're an idiot if you touch something that say is wet paint and they get paint on their paws so obviously that one has quite a good moral that moral is basically saying, you know, don't ignore signs don't be ignorant, if it says wet paint, don't touch it and that can apply to many situations, that has quite a clear moral that's nice the other one the garden gnomes were asked by Rat, or Rat in a Hat, or whatever he's called, to take, um, the garden gnomes, bananas were asked by Rat in a Hat to take two garden gnomes to the teddy bears in a wheelbarrow. So they start doing it, but the barrel, the barrel tips over, and the garden gnomes break. So they try and fix the, the garden gnomes, um, but they fail. So they think, right, what we're going to do, we're going to dress up as garden gnomes and sit in the teddy's garden to pretend that we're garden gnomes, since we can't get them the garden gnomes. So they do that. But, and then the teddy bears realise it's the bananas, because while they're teddy bears, they're not idiots. Um, while they do that, the, at the end of the episode, the teddy bears don't get their garden gnomes. The bananas never even say, look, we're sorry, we, we broke your gnomes, this is why we're sitting in your garden dressed like gnomes. There is no explanation for that, and that episode really annoyed me, because they don't confess to breaking the garden gnomes. Yes, well done to them for trying to find a solution to the problem, but sitting in somebody's garden in replace for an object you broke is not a solution to that. So they never even say sorry for the garden gnomes. The broken gnomes are never mentioned again. And that episode did it to irritate me because the problem isn't solved. And it kind of gives the kids the impression that they can break something and then just get away with it without apologising. And that really did annoy me. So some of the episodes are kind of good, but some of them are a bit like, what? Fair enough, get on with it. The kids, I mean, I watched it and I didn't come out a criminal or anything. So it's not exactly a massive issue, but there are little things about it that irritated me. The ultimate thing about Bananas and Pajamas is the theme tune. I love how the theme tune in the introductory titles are um, in cartoon. And then you get to the puppets. I love it, absolutely fantastic. One of the teddy bears is called Amy, that's fantastic. The TV show itself is just perfect, apart from that minor irritation. But as a younger viewer, if I sink back to my kind of four or five year old self, what is there not to love? Giant bananas in pyjamas, teddy bears running around, amazing theme tune, quite short episodes, even just ten minutes if it's one of the longer ones. Absolutely brilliant. Not a scratch um, does the, the new one have on that. The, the, the new version is just pathetic compared to it. 
I guess nobody these days wants to dress up as a giant banana. But let me know your thoughts on this. Thank you to Adam and Thomas 1997 for requesting this. I had so much fun watching the episodes again. I love it so much. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you all next time. Bye.